Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hi guys, my name's Connor if you're new. France video. Uh, the touristy. Give a subscribe, a like. Eight best places to visit in France. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's get started. Did I say my name's Connor if you're new? If I didn't, hello. Louvre. Mont Saint Michel, I want to go so bad. There is a reason France is the most popular destination in Europe. It is home to some of the most beautiful cities, towns, and countrysides in the world. From a large international metropolis with art galleries and museums to charming coastal towns, perfect for a summer getaway. France really has it all, and it is no wonder that millions of tourists flock there every year. For some, it is beaches and the Mediterranean sun. For others, it is the ski slopes of the Alps and the lavender fields of Provence. Whether you're seeking an action-packed sightseeing adventure... You guys have such diversity in landscape um, for such a... Uh, not saying France is a small country, but relative to its size... I don't know, I can't think of another country that has such diverse areas that you can go to, whether it's, you know, Bay of Biscay, Atlantic, English Channel, you can go south to the Mediterranean, you have the Alps on your east, what else, a beautiful forest and stuff like that closer to Germany, uh, just beautiful Enjoy country. Enjoy a relaxing wine retreat, y'all find a fun French vacation here. To give you a taste of the best of it, here are the eight best places also to visit the, in France. Also, the Pyrenees, right? Pyrenees is the is that the mountain range that separates Iberia from France, Spain from France. I wonder if there's any good skiing there. Number eight, Colma. Colmar is one of the jewels of Alsace and one of the most beautiful destinations in France. Colmar is a charming town in the Grand ESD region of northeastern France, close to the border with Germany. Colorful houses that look as if they belong in a fairy tale line, the little Venice district, where you like can I'm take a boat tour through Colmar's canals or reach boutiques and eateries on foot. Visit Colmar at night when lights illuminate the city during annual events like the Colmar International Festival, Alsace's Wine Fair, and Colmar's Christmas Market. It is a very romantic little place which is easily one of the most beautiful places to visit in France. wonder if that statue's up. There's little alleyways like this. Um, it's the little things like this. Just the beautiful half-timber housing. And then a little just tunnel that I just want to go through right there. U.S. cities have no charm. Towns. Most. I, I can't say for every everyone. Number seven, Verdun Gorge. If you're looking for some of the best regional parks in France, then visiting Verdun Gorge will be for you. Perched within the Verdun Natural Regional, it's a great spot for hiking, swimming, and kayaking too. Amongst all the natural beauty this scenic road trip offers, it is the turquoise color of the Verdun River that will strike you the most. Did this river carve all of this out? Number six, French Alps. I hear, I hear the French Alps. The 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 section of the Alps, Alps that has the tallest mountains, are on the kind of Italian French border. Um, so it's interesting. Has it seems like they get a little less tall as you go east. That's what it seems Dawn like. Enthusiasts, it's hard to beat the French Alps for its breathtaking natural scenery. 
Mont Blanc is the highest mountain in all of Europe and its snow-capped peak is totally majestic. Where's the Matterhorn? Now? With lakes, valleys, dramatic waterfalls and forests, it is one of the best places to visit in France. Charming villages sit at the base of the range, offering several places to unwind when you've had enough fun on the slopes or trails. Number 5. Lyon Located between the Rhône and Seon rivers, close to the Alps and to the Mediterranean, Lyon is the third largest city in France. If there is one place you should be missing when in Lyon, that's its cathedral which was built between the 12th and the 15th centuries. It is a historic city with a rich culture and beautiful architecture. The World Heritage City is a beautiful place to visit in France and is home to some of the world's most precious ancient ruins, Roman structures and medieval buildings. The place new Saint Jean is also a must see. It is a picture. Look at how the city just goes together too. The the red oranges brick color roofing and all the white sides of the building. I'm like a broken record beating a dead horse here, but just the lack of skyscrapers. I notice in Europe, I just... I feel like sky, skyscrapers ruin a lot of the the charm that of this place had one, you know, this giant building sticking up over here. Gresk Square will many shops and traditional restaurants the perfect location for a romantic dinner. Lyon is at the heart of French gastronomy. Lyon Eyes cuisine is famous for its delicious regional specialties such as quenelles meat dishes, sausages, and salad. Number four, Bordeaux. Bordeaux is one of France's most important wine-producing provinces. Where Home is to it over exactly? 6,000 vineyards, the region offers some of the world's finest wines, building on an ancient culture that goes back nearly 2,000 years. The region has two exceptional world heritage sites. The elegant. Who was the first one to find out about wine? Like, what? What? How did that happen? Did someone thousands of years ago just eat an overly ripe grape? or something like that fascinates me. In city of Bordeaux, with more than 350 buildings classified as historical monuments, and the little country village of saint Emilion, 51 kilometers from Bordeaux. With a rich Christian heritage dating back to the 8th century, saint Emilion is filled with notable churches and monasteries. Bordeaux is packed with places where you can sit, relax, and savor the best wines of France. How long have those been sitting there? Number three, Normandy. Normandy is known for its king and cheese, its apple orchards, and its historic castle. And then there. This verdant region takes its name from the Viking conquerors that settled here in the 9th century. With gorgeous beaches, stunning architecture, and some of France's finest seafood, this is a region with something for everyone. It's cool how the northern French coast and the southern uh, English coast have similar looking chalk uh, seaside cliffs, which makes some sense. Of France's finest seafood, this is a region with something for everyone. Norman history has always been tied to the sea, from the earliest Viking raids and the conquest of England in- I've been here. My, I have a my great uncle's grave. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be like, uh... 1066. This kind of looks similar to where we were walking, Right though. through to the darkest moments of the Second World War. Normandy has one of France's most famous tourist sites, the stunning- I don't know how we didn't go. Monsey we were Mitchell. so close. Known as the Pyramid of the Seas, Mount Saint this little rocky islet off the coast of Normandy Michel. was built between the 11th and 13th centuries. Again, guys, don't don't take these dates for granted. I feel like a lot of you do in Europe. That's so crazy old. When I see like something from the 1600s over here. 
I, I'm, I'm like, what? And then, nope, it's nothing for you guys. I'm out of water. When I think I love castles, when I do think of castles, it's changing, but my mind usually went to England, you know, and just the United Kingdom. There are a lot of castles, but I guess France, Germany also, but I guess France has more like castle and castle remnants remains um, than any other country in Europe. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think I heard that. Number two, Nice. This lovely coastal this is on town Mediterranean, located right? on Côte d'Azur is where Close you will find Italy. some of the nicest beaches in France. With a beautiful old town, stunning beaches, and delicious food, there's something for everyone. This historic part of Nice, the old town Vielville, feels like a medieval village with narrow streets curving between old buildings with red tile roofs, small restaurants, and open markets. I wonder if there's any like Roman historical sites around here. Awesome. Number one, Paris. When you mention the best cities to visit in France, you just can't skip its gorgeous capital. Paris has some of the best architectural and iconic landmarks of France like the... What the heck is that? This is in Paris? Paris has some of the best architectural and iconic landmarks of France like the Louvre, Eiffel Tower, and Notre Dame Cathedral, Louvre. which are all the best places to visit in Paris. You will get the finest pieces of art and culture at the top museums in Paris. I love Paris. Uh, I loved it. I, I, it's a place where I just, I wouldn't need an itinerary to go to, and I wouldn't be worried at all. Just walking around the city, it was just amazing. I love the all of the streets kind of like spokes on a wheel going towards the center. And there are these just great, they're wide streets with beautiful cafes and seating areas on the sides and, and, and nice trees on either side of the street that stretch, stretch all the way down. Beautiful architecture. You have the Eiffel Tower, of course, but the Arc de Triomphe. I didn't see Napoleon's grave the, or Napoleon's tomb. That's, would we'll love to go to Mont Saint Michel, which I had the chance to and we didn't, and uh, Napoleon's tomb, which obviously we were close to. I just didn't care about that stuff the last time I went. Shopping streets, historical charms, but yeah, just and a lot more walking around, beautiful the city. Walk the promenade plenty, considered a picnic to Luxembourg Gardens, and end the day watching the sunset behind the Very Eiffel nice Tower. Grass. So there are stairs in these things, and I've been up to, I believe, this part. But if you want to go higher than this, you have to take an elevator. And I think there was just a super long line. So we didn't end up doing that. Still an awesome view. Jesus Christ. How far away is Versailles from Paris? an hour drive or something love the Louvre fantastic I could walk around there all day very cool video um I I can't praise France enough from the little experiences I have there and just the experience of watching like viewing videos like this it's such a beautiful country it especially given its size I know by European standards, France is a large country, but still, given its size, it just looks like it has so much to offer. Love it. Beautiful. Love you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Would appreciate any comments down below, and hopefully I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.